Alrighty, let's begin. It is uh, zero hours and fifty eight minutes into the day of of uh, Monday, February twenty uh, fourth, two thousand fourteen, and it's time for the uh, BTS vlog. This is actually the first segment of the BTS vlog yet. This is supposed to be the vlog for the twenty third and twenty fourth. But what happens sometimes on certain days when I you know, there's too much work to be done, and I get really tired. Uh, and you'll see this in the instant vlog that I recorded that I filmed yesterday. Uh, I was so tired that I couldn't keep my eyes open. If you see in the video where my eyes are closed a lot, that means my body exhaustion is to the point where I can't keep my eyes open. And that kind of occurred yesterday. <laughs> and, but I did get managed to get a lot of work done. I did a large chunk of work on the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner was really sort of is coming along. I think I should be able to finish the kitchen diner, get it in filming position, in a filming in a filming state by the end of the week. Uh, I've also got a surprise in the second segment. You'll see in the second segment that I've done some extra work, and that surprise will come in the second segment. This surprise. Uh, we'll push along the the uh, the uh, whole uh, toy uh, the toy web web show. Uh, as I said, I'm building a show a web show called Toys, and it's about making and playing with toys. And I decided that um, what I would do in the uh, in that uh, show, and I'm doing the test segments in here. We're doing the development segments here, just the way we brought in ad hoc notes. For the Insta vlogs into BTS, we're going to do uh, the behind-the-scenes development, the the initial uh, short segments that uh, need to get done f to uh, do these tech shots. Uh, that's all going to be done in the BTS vlogs as well. So I have music, I have uh, toys, and I have uh, which other one that I have? I, there's one more that I have. There's a third one. Music, toys. Uh, I can't remember what the third one is. This is the third one right now, but I, let me see if I can find in my notes what it is. But there is three shows that I'm developing in here, uh, in addition to Kitchen Diner, and these shows uh, the the shots until they're ready to move up onto their own episodes uh, will be will be uh, sort of showcased here. And once they are ready for uh, prime time, if you will, uh, then they'll move out to their own show. It's just the way uh, InstaVlogs did. And what what has to happen with these uh, shows, in order for them to move on their own, is you have to have a fair degree of significance. If you're, oh, oh yeah, Gaming RL. That's the third show that I'll be doing is Gaming RL. And I think it's Gaming RL kind of inter in interconnects between uh, toys and music studio because... Uh, both Toys and Music Studio, uh, these shows have come out of the sense of play of bringing my game, my gaming RL to the next level. And as I said, it's about sort of uh, bringing what you would do in games, particularly geek games and role playing, into real life and seeing how far you can push these things. And so, in this case here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push uh, uh, my uh, understanding of toys and sort of uh, create an environment where I can create my own toys. And the two, the two toys that I was looking at in terms of working with them 
uh, to be our, to be our beginning uh, step into the toys uh, is looking at either Legos and La La Loopsy. Legos is you have uh, Lego people now and with a recent Lego movie that's become very popular again with kids and with Lego movies with Lego people the detail to the figure to the toy in terms of the people there isn't as great as you would have with let's say a um, Barbie doll or a Moxie Girl doll or Monster High. In other words these dolls uh, the, the the larger dolls have more detail. The the lo the Lego doll has less detail and is something that we can actually recreate. Same thing with Lala Loopsy. Lala Loopsy has more detail, but Lala Loopsy goes back to an old type of doll known as a rag doll. And it's possible to create these rag dolls out of old clothes and uh, you use yarn for the hair, uh, buttons for the eyes, and uh, we'll see how we'll work on the mouth. So, in other words, these toys are toys that we can use old parts, old stuff with, and repurpose them, and create our own toys with it. And so that's how we're going to do that. We're going to look at the dollar stores. We're going to look into these various different areas and see whether or not we can pull something, uh, you know, more significant out of this than we did before. Uh, so uh, that being said. Uh, What will happen next? Uh, from our toys, we'll then go into the music studio. I do have, I've done the, the initial configuration of bringing, uh, what you call it, uh, bringing uh, the Linux station, the Linux computer that is hooked up to, to a point where I've got all of, all the uh, apps uh, that I need to get. I went out and found all the apps that I need to get for. To do the music studio, so the next step is to sort of test out and configure the music studio, that, and, and I can sort of do that uh, on the research desk. That will probably be the third segment. Will be uh, sort of testing out and sort of trying to play with the studio to get it to start producing some music. And of course, then after that, that's when I will, on a, on a regular basis, sort of set out some time during the day. Uh, for practicing, and that was one of the hardest parts that I had when I was younger. This is why I didn't stay with music, as I really had a hard time practicing, keeping up with the practicing, and so I ended up leaving it. Uh, so <laughs> that's kind of how things go, right? Uh, I think I'll leave this here for now. I think the, the this segment is kind of long enough. I forgot to set the timer, so uh, I'm just using uh, the clock here as as my guide. And see us here. We started at 58, right? The timestamp was uh, 058, and it's now 106. So we're just about at the eight minute mark. So I'll leave this here, and I will see you in the next segment in a couple hours. All right, take it easy. <laughs> well, I had promised that the second segment would be uh, shot in a new location but that's not going to happen right now because uh, as of uh, 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 a couple hours ago basically sometime around four o'clock in the morning I experienced uh, another sleep deprivation crash and well, it's not that bad this time. It's you instead of knocking me out for days, uh, I've lost maybe a couple hours. Uh, I think I'm, I lost, lost about six hours worth of work. So uh, that's why I'm doing the BTS vlog from here for the second segment, rather than doing it from the new surprise location. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, let's get it on the uh, time and date stamp. It's um, 17 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Monday, February 24th, uh, 2014, yeah. February is almost over, and uh, it's good. It's time to sort of uh, move along and uh, uh, get what's left of the day started, more or less.
Uh, we'll see what happens in terms of the schedule for today. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what's going to happen for today. The schedule is kind of off for now. Uh, when the crash happens, and you can sort of see that the crash is coming because uh, the state I'm in during in the videos is that I start to fall off in terms of my uh, my appearance, my um, my wakefulness on uh, on the videos is off, uh, and that's the sort of the cue that um, uh, there's a crash coming. It is, as most vloggers will tell you, difficult to maintain uh, this uh, schedule of vlogging where you have to vlog every, every, almost every single day. But uh, I don't know if it necessarily is the vlogging itself that's the problem. Uh, for me, it's not necessarily the vlogging. It's not the vlogging that, that causes the late nights. It's the study, the research. The vlogging simply reflects what's going on. It doesn't cause what's going on. It re sort of reflects it. And this, uh, you know, if this is what vlogging is supposed to do, it's supposed to be uh, seeing, um, you know, the reality behind the... Uh, uh, Behind the life of a scientist, it's just you know, like like Sheldon Cooper. Well, you know, if you're working on a problem and you're working late nights, you're trying to resolve the problem, then you're not going to sleep, and you are going to have periods when you are heavily sleep deprived. And this is sort of the case here: is that we're, you know, I work very late nights, and more often than not, it's not because I have to that someone's forcing me to do this is because I'm working on a project I get to a point where I'm working on the product things are working well and I'm finding solutions and I don't want to stop because I know as soon as I stop that I might forget some of the stuff that I'm working on I might forget some of the solution and I try to work my way through as far as I can uh, putting down the solution that I think that you know the, that I think I have and in some cases I'm right in some cases I'm wrong <laughs> you, know, you do have to go back and check to see what the work make sure you wrote down is 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 coherent well some of that is coherent but you do often more often than that, when you're working when you're tired like this coherency is particularly an issue you do have to go back and check your work afterwards and more or less it's, 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 you've got the stuff down you just have to sort of reorder it, you have to reorganize it in order to get it into a better sense I mean uh, solutions when they come to you, particularly if you're working long hours and you're pushing things a little further the notes you're taking tend to become more ad hoc than they are organized so uh, the once you realize this that you are writing down ad hoc notes that you have to go back into these notes again at some point uh, during the week with it when it's still fresh in your mind and reorganize it now of course periodically you have to if you're doing working on a lot of different subjects you have to go in and reorganize the entire notebook. So, you know, this this is what happens. You know, the reflection of what's going on with Insta vlogs is the reorganization of the entire notebook that I have that carries all the research notes uh, from all the various different subjects. Now that I mentioned, uh, people say, "Well, how are you doing <clears throat> all these different subjects? Well, shouldn't you just pick one?" And my explanation is ex explanation is that the there is just one. It's open exploration of the universe. I mean, as a physicist, uh, if you say some of the stuff you're doing is universal, then you should be able to test that out. And uh, this is the sort of thing thing here is that you, you know, um, was initially started off looking at the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. 
principle. You know, is this level of if this is this principle uh, <coughs> restricted to quantum physics, or is it throughout? You know, and you know, we call uh, the Heisenberg uncertainty, uncertainty principle, and some of the natures of quantum mechanics make it, in many ways, an anti-logical science. It means it stands against logic. And in this case, you ask yourself, well, does this anti-logic apply elsewhere? And the only way to answer that question is, is to go out and actually take a look at things. And uh, the number of places I've found that does apply is, is quite amazing. Uh, so I can say through experience that, yes, you know, quantum physics uh, and the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle of the anti-logical sciences does apply outside of uh, what we call traditionally physics. So uh, this is sort of the direction it's gone in, and uh, yeah. So our time is up, and I will see you in the third segment a couple hours later. Uh, and hopefully, I'll be able to film that. The the uh, I'll be able to do that the, the third segment in the surprise location. Anyways. Have a good one. All right, it is time for the next BTS log, and we are coming from, to you from our new location. We are at the electronics bench. That's right. Let me give the time and date stamp. If I can see it. <laughs> All right, it's uh, let's see here, seven hours and six minutes into the day of. Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. That's right, we're in a new location. If you notice, the background is a little different. Uh, I've moved a little bit, and that's and the reason why is that, uh, well, we are now looking at the, uh, at the, uh, that's the music studio. That's where the, the show music studio will be do produced. There is the, uh, on the top, there is the IPTV. And we are coming to you from the uh, the uh, uh, electronics workbench. This is it. The electronic workbench is uh, is finally in its beginning stages, and I'm also going to use this as a general purpose workbench. So uh, yeah, we have got everything done. Uh, well, not done, but good enough to start using it. Uh, so I'm here, and I'm vlogging to you from the the, uh, the third the, our third segment our third. Uh, uh, studio, if you will. <laughs> There's another one still uh, uh, coming in to production. I still have to work on it. It's going to be where I'm doing the editing, So, but that's still not ready yet. And of course, I still have to work on the kitchen studio. Uh, that's sort of coming along bits and, chunk, uh, bits and chunks at a time, bits and, you know, a little bit at a time. And then, uh, but otherwise, uh, things are going okay. A uh, little, uh, little slower than I expected. I did have a uh, sleep deprivation issue over the weekend, particularly Monday. Ooh. I'm still a little bit today, but um, I am doing better. So uh, I should get back on track for um, for later on tonight, actually. So, anyways, I looked at for the for the, uh, for the uh, gaming RL. I went to see. Uh, if the uh, Strategicon had had a um, had a uh, website because it's a con it's, if it's a con like any other anime con or or you know any other, any other geek con uh, then it's going to have a website and the thing is I looked to see did a, 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 a Google search on it and there it was yeah it's in California and it's a group of it's actually not one what it's not one con but a whole group of cons. Uh, all dedicated dedicated to uh, gaming, so uh, <laughs> it's 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 a, pr a pretty cool site. I looked at it, and uh, they also have a site for board games. So, as, as I said, uh, geeks still play a lot of uh, uh, board games, and they do a lot of role playing games. And gaming RL sort of sits in that line there, but it brings the RP and the uh, the board game aspect of things. Uh, more towards to, to the computer in that uh, more often with gaming RL you are on the computer you are on the internet but 
unlike most games, like if you're playing um, uh, League of Legends or uh, uh, Call of Duty, any of those, any of those games, you're restricted to a particular box. You're restricted. You're restricted to a particular. You're restricted to a particular server, and basically the games end up wind up being kind of like capture the flag or. or uh, there is a limitation to the game, in, in that it's the game stays the same all the way around. Like for example, you in, in in Call of Duty, you can't design your own weapons in Call of Duty. Um, in other games, you you know you, you like this, you really can't design your own games. Oh, there are some games on the Linux platform that are now allowing you to design a game like Minecraft. Minecraft, you can actually go in and and, and, and develop your own uh, environment in there. So. And develop your own servers, but in the other games, the more more professional end games, uh, they're not allowing you to do that. You're kind of locked in, and uh, if you wanted to sort of go outside that server box and start playing outside the server box, uh, it is possible to do gaming to do uh, what I call uh, internet wide gaming, where you're gaming where, where where rather than being restricted to one box, the territory you're covering, the thing you're looking at, is about Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> the entire internet. In other words, you can go as long as you know how you have some degree of skills, particularly with Linux, uh, and you can sort of start navigating through the internet. The only thing that limits you is your imagination and your ability to take some of your imagination and bring it into a from from concept from 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 the imagination into reality. In other words, so this is this is the thing is you're. With gaming RL, what you're doing is you're forging reality with your gaming skills. So we basically take your gaming ideas, your gaming ideals, your imagination that you have in gaming, and bring bringing that into the real world, and that's gaming RL. So it doesn't really have a definition beyond that because I can't define your your imagination for you. It just really depends on what you want to do. Uh, and that being said, is that now we have the electronics bench here. Uh, I went back and took a look at the Lego movie. Uh, I'm looking at Legos now, and I'm also looking at uh, the the other doll, uh, Lala Loopsy. And I think from 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 the perspective of Legos and from the perspective of La Lala Loopsy, and this basic your basic rag doll, that we can cover Monster High, uh, uh, Ever After, um, Moxie Girls, Bratz, Barbie. In other words, all the dolls can be covered. Uh, from that perspective there and so we can sort of make everything uh, from there and then uh, uh, if we do when we do drawing we'll be back on the research desk but rather than seeing me you'll be seeing the screen and I'm gonna try to do this I'm working on this week I'm trying to learn how to do uh, uh, video overlays so that rather than I tried doing that that, that sort of that picture there of me like the way I had it there uh, they had that, the the the, the uh, video camera, the uh, webcam, but the webcam didn't come out so good. It come, came out kind of uh, uh, jittery, and uh, until I fix up the frame rate on the system here, what I think I might do is I might re record myself using this camera while doing the uh, coloring at the same time. Anyways, uh, I think our time is about up, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit, uh, and we'll go to our third segment. All right. I'm trying some. Well, let's try something new. We're back to uh, the uh, the research desk now, and the reason why we're back at the research desk is uh, the electronics bench does need some more work on it. it was, uh, I realized that there were some issues with the um, with the electronic bench that I still have to sort of work out. The other thing is is that uh, well, we're all. I'm, it's basically where I am at the time, and right now I've been here at the uh, research desk re redoing the notes. Uh, the production notes, as you develop things forward, and this is, this is truth all notes, as you develop things more, you have to go in and reorganize the notes. So I just went in and reorganized from my production notes. Hopefully we can get things back on track again for uh, Beauty and the Geek. Uh, I'm kind of off schedule with that. Uh, <laughs> A large chunk of the work for the, the for the next episode has been done. It just hasn't been put together. That's all. So it's just a matter of sort of putting everything together. There is an Insta vlogs, an Insta vlog, 
an episode of this vlog is in uh, the editing bay. I'm working on the ability to do video overlays. Uh, video overlays are uh, like graphic overlays. Instead of having, um, let's see here, what side is it now? I think it's over there to the left. Yes, to the left. To the left are all the graphics here. You'll see here all the graphics here. Those are graphic overlays. Now, if I take the same box, let's, say, let's take the freaking box. I take the same box and replace it. Instead of using a, gra a graphic, a still graphic, I use a put a video in there. Right? And that's what, what I want to do. I want to put the video over here. Uh, so as I'm talking about something, I want to point to a video and talk about a video. I can show you the video clip. Yeah, you know, roll to the clip and have you watch the video clip and then come back and talk about uh, what it, what, whatever was in the video clip. That sort of um, effect has to be developed. And I'm close to doing it. I'm aiming to do this for uh, this this episode of the uh, this week's episode of Vitness of Vlogs. It is coming. It's in the editing bay. And I'm working on the, that new... Um, the new element, uh, the video overlays, rather than just simply doing the graphic overlays. So, graphic overlays are going to be there, but uh, we're now going to have video overlays as well. And that will sort of resolve, not only resolve, give, give me some new options so I can bring some more stuff into the videos. Uh, what else is there? <laughs> oh. Uh. I think that's about it. You know, um, I mean, all things considered, you know, I, I said, I, well, that's what I wanted to talk about. I noticed that I, I watched the uh, video where, where I had started talking about the back room. And I noticed that there were some sound problems with the, with, with the back room. Um, with the uh, back room. And I think it's more of it's a, sound, it's a sound level issue. So it, that's not a problem. I can uh, fix up the uh, sound problem, the level problem on the editing bench, on, 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 on the, uh, in the editing bay. Uh, I'll do that in editing, so it's, an, it, it, it's not necessarily production. I don't have to, uh, not necessarily a uh, shooting issue, so I don't have to go back and reshoot it. What I can do is simply uh, resolve the problem on the editing bay um, with it within an edit. So yeah, this is, this, that's about it for now. Uh, we haven't finished the day kind of late. Let me give you the time and date stamp because I kind of I kind of forgot the time and date stamp. It is 11 hours and 9 minutes into the day of Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. Uh, yeah. So, it's no longer, this is no longer the BTS vlog for the 23rd to the 25th. I mean, 24, 20, 20, 20 uh, the 23rd to the 24th. Uh, it's now a three-day vlog <laughs> because uh, we kind of, I kind of went over schedule thing with things. Uh, I did have a bit of a, I had a mic I had a micro crash on on Monday. When I talk about a micro crash, usually the crashes uh, wipe me out for a couple of days and you know, up to a week. Uh, this crash uh, has kind of knocked me out knocked me out for about between six to eight hours. So I lost uh, about six to eight hours worth of work. So <sighs> that's how things go sometimes. <laughs> There, there are things you can control and things you can't control. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next BTS vlogs, which will be in a few hours from now. Probably around 6 o'clock. So, anyways, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.